So you want to build your first .NET MAUI app? Well, you've come to the right place. Settle in, sit down, and um, let me tell you all about .NET MAUI and how this crash course is going to work. So what is .NET MAUI? .NET Multi-Platform App UI, or .NET MAUI for short, is a cross-platform framework for creating native mobile and desktop apps with C Sharp and XAML built right into .NET as of .NET 6 and up. Using .NET MAUI, you can develop apps that can run on Android, iOS, macOS, and Windows from a single shared code base. How amazing is that? You might not even realize, but you might already know about .NET MAUI in the form of Xamarin Forms. .NET MAUI is the evolution of Xamarin Forms, extended from mobile to desktop scenarios with UI controls rebuilt from the ground up for performance and extensibility. If you've previously used Xamarin Forms to build cross-platform user interfaces, you'll notice many similarities with .NET MAUI. However, there are a couple of key differences. Using .NET MAUI, you can create multi-platform apps using a single project but you can add platform-specific source code and resources if that's still what you need. One of the key aims of .NET MAUI is to enable you to implement as much of your app logic and UI layout as possible in that single code base. So how does .NET MAUI do its magic? .NET MAUI unifies Android, iOS, macOS, and Windows APIs into a single abstracted API that allows a write once, run anywhere developer experience. However, when needed, like I just mentioned, you can still reach into those platform frameworks and leverage every aspect of each framework. .NET provides a series of platform-specific frameworks for creating apps. .NET for Android, .NET for iOS, .NET for macOS, you might previously know them as Xamarin.iOS and Xamarin.Android, and we now have Windows UI, also known as WinUI. Let's have a closer look at how this all ties together. Everything starts with your app code. This is where you want to spend all of your time being productive. This is your business logic. This is your app, your billion dollar idea. But to get there, we need to go through a couple of layers. The first layer of the technology cake is the native platform SDK. This is what Google, Apple, and Microsoft ship for those platforms for you to work with. So how do we get from our .NET app code to those platforms and running on devices? First, we need something that can run .NET code, the .NET runtime. For iOS, macOS, and Android, this still uses Mono, and it uses Core CLR on Windows. But that's not really that important. We'll get to that in a minute. Next, we need a common .NET API we can write our code against, and that's the base class library, or the BCL. New in .NET 6 is that all app runtimes, so Mono and Core CLR that I just mentioned, use the same BCL. To use .NET against native platform SDKs, we need a .NET representation of them. We do this via binding a .NET API and implementation to the native API. When you call a native method from C Sharp, it's just as if you had done it from Objective-C, Swift, Java, Kotlin, C++, whatever. The final layer of the cake that really makes it delicious is .NET MAUI. .NET MAUI provides a rich library of controls, layouts, and services that work across all the platforms supported, so you need to only master one API to get all the native apps. With .NET MAUI, all of that complexity is delivered in a single framework that gives you access to all of this. So if you learn how to work with .NET MAUI, you can then focus on the only thing that is the most important, your app code. .NET MAUI apps can be written on PC or Mac and they compile into native app packages. Android apps built using .NET MAUI compile from C Sharp into Intermediate Language, or IL, which is then just in time or JIT compiled to a native assembly when the app launches. iOS apps built using .NET MAUI are fully ahead of time, or AOT, compiled from C Sharp into native ARM assembly code. MacOS apps built using .NET MAUI use Mac Catalyst, a solution from Apple that brings your iOS app built with UIKit to the desktop and augments it with additional AppKit and platform APIs as required. Windows apps built with .NET MAUI use the WinUI library to create native apps that target the Windows desktop. So let's address the um, elephant in the room, uh, right? For developing iOS and macOS apps, you will still need a Mac, at least somewhere in your development pipeline. There are ways to go sort of around it with uh, Microsoft's product, Hot Restart, that allows you to debug your iOS apps on a physical device straight from Windows, um, or you can rent a Mac through a cloud service, but the best experience will always be to have a Mac. 
You can still use that Mac without ever having to use Mac OS. Um, you can build your apps through a Mac that is somewhere on your network. We'll see in the next video how to set that up for your development environment. So you can just have it in your network connected to Visual Studio and um, you can kind of build from there and never have to work with Mac OS if that's what you want. Now, another elephant in the room, there seems to be a whole herd here, um, might be, can I use Visual Studio Code to develop .NET MAUI apps? And the answer is kind of yes and no, um, because .NET MAUI is part of .NET now and thus part part of the CLI tooling, developing and running it through VS Code somewhat works. However, Microsoft also announced that for the time being, at least, only Visual Studio and Visual Studio for Mac will be officially supported and will have the best experience for developing .NET MAUI apps. So what does .NET MAUI have to offer you? Well, the short answer to this is everything you need to build your billion dollar app idea. <laughs> And because .NET MAUI is the successor of Xamarin Forms that has been around for almost a decade now, a lot has already been implemented. This includes more than 40 pages, layouts, and controls that you can use from both C Sharp and XAML. As you might have been used to from other XAML-based um, UI frameworks, data binding is there to make sure that you can separate your code from your UI and implement the MVVM pattern successfully. Everything you need for navigation, animation, continuous integration and deployment support so you can release your app from your repository straight to the app stores, use SVGs for images, icons, splash screen, the ability to reach into 100% of the platform APIs in case .NET MAUI didn't make an abstraction for the thing that you want to use yet, and much, much more. Now, all of this goodness is offered through a single project approach that uses multi-targeting. Uh, this might sound a little bit complicated, but later on, we will dive in deeper and see that it's actually not as complicated as it sounds. You might have noticed that I mentioned MVVM, but a big part of the re-architecting that has been going on for .NET MAUI is to make sure that we now also open the door for other design patterns. For example, there is already a project that is called Comet that allows you to write MVU-style applications just like Swift UI and Jetpack Compose do. Now, the last thing I want to mention here is Essentials. If you have been working with Xamarin before, you might, nay, you probably know about Xamarin Essentials. Essentials offers all kinds of abstractions for platform APIs like access to location services, getting information about your app or device, using flashlight, all kinds of APIs and sensors that are coming across platforms. Actually, I should say the functionality formerly known as Essentials because the name Essentials has gone away. And all these APIs have just gone up in .NET MAUI, which makes this UI framework even more complete than ever. Later on, we will learn where all these essential APIs went and how to actually use them. Now let's talk a little bit about this course and how it is put together. This course will follow a workshop that is kindly created and shared by our mutual best friend in the entire world, James Montemagno. If you've been working with Xamarin, you probably know that name. The workshop consists of seven parts and I will add a couple of videos um, in the beginning, at the end, for instance, how to um, set up your development environment and a video right at the end to point you in the right direction to continue your .NET MAUI journey yourself. You can find all videos in a convenient playlist on my channel and um, make sure to look below to find a link to that playlist or the other videos. This course works best if you follow all the videos from start to finish in the right order. Now, will this course touch upon every little detail there is to know about Don and Maui? Absolutely not. There is a lot, a lot of ground to cover here, and it's impossible to create one course that works great for everyone. I think this workshop from James does a great job at explaining the fundamentals of .NET MAUI apps, and that's why I decided to turn this into a video crash course. But with this app, you will definitely learn about the foundations of building an app with .NET MAUI or your first app with .NET MAUI. In this course, you will learn how to set up your development environment for .NET MAUI display rich data, including images that are retrieved from a remote location on the internet. We will touch upon the basics of MVVM and how to use that in your app, uh, learn about navigation, using platform-specific features, working with the collection view, how to implement styling and theming that supports, supports both dark theme and light theme with .NET MAUI app themes, and much, much more. Now, together with this app, there is a GitHub repository with all the code that you're about to see. And depending on how you learn best, either uh, code together with me and implement all these things or just review the code at your own pace, totally up to you. The repository contains the code for each step. So if you get stuck, 
no worries. Just have a peek at the ne next steps code or start from there if you get really stuck. Um, sounds complicated? No worries. You got this. Let's get started. Here, let me actually help you navigate this course. Um, click here if you want to go to the next video directly or um, have a look here at the full playlist and see what you can expect. And of course, check out here if you have subscribed to my channel so you'll be the first to be notified of new content directly. See you on the other side.